Hi, hey, what's up? How's it going? We hope you're having a great day. So, if you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, I just want to let you know that I'm Colombian. I'm from Colombia, born and raised. And whenever I meet someone, oftentimes, I don't know if it's just because of my accent or the way I look, but they always ask me, where are you from? And the moment that I say that I'm from Colombia, people just start making uneducated assumptions of who I am or my background. And here's a list of things that I realized have pissed me off in the past. So definitely, if you ever meet a Colombian person, please don't say anything of this, okay? I hate it when people misspell Colombia. It's spelled Colombia with an O, not with a U. This is Colombia. It's in South America. This is Colombia as well. Colombia, a province in Canada. This is Colombia, a clothing brand. And this is Colombia as a film studio. Assuming that I eat only tacos and burritos, people don't actually understand that the fact that I'm from Colombia makes me different from Mexico, first of all. And second of all, not everyone in Mexico just eat tacos and burritos. Like that's not the thing they eat. Or at least that's not something they eat 100% of the time. Just have that in mind. Hey, what? Does your mom make nice tacos? Sorry, what? Yeah, does your mom make like nice tacos, burritos? Mmm, no. Oh, my bad. You know, since you're from Colombia, I just thought you'd like them. Let me get this straight. Tacos and burritos are not an actual Colombian food, and they're not even Mexican. They're just an Americanized version of Mexican food. If you see a Colombian person, please definitely just don't walk straight to them and ask them about Pablo Escobar. I'm sure there is plenty more of cool content to talk about like we could talk about a lot of things a lot of things just just google just google colombia or cool facts about colombia and then you have a whole bunch of interesting stuff to talk about hey juan i'm so glad you're here in canada because i'm sure you guys are much more safe now for your information colombia is actually very safe oh is it i just finished watching all the narco series and it didn't look that safe though you know what i don't want to waste my time talking to you about this but wait did i say something wrong i mean oh god what's wrong with this guy just assuming that i lived in a jungle for the first 17 16 years of my life Yes, we were a developing country many years ago. We are not the richest country in the world. And yes, there is a lot of corruption. Hey Juan, could I ask you a question? Yeah, what is it? Do you guys have like, you know, internet access in Colombia? What kind of question is that? Man, isn't like everyone super poor in Colombia? I mean, don't you guys like live in jungles or is it like small villages? You know, what you watch in the movies? No, it's just like here. There's all kinds of people. There's poor people, rich people, middle class people. And yeah, just a disclaimer. Yeah, that is internet access in Colombia. By this video, I don't pretend to ask you guys to stop asking Colombians or foreign people in general about their countries. I mean, as long as you ask them actively about how cool your place is, like how do you miss it there? What, what's different compared to here or something like that. That's totally cool. But please don't make assumptions, first of all, if you haven't lived in a place before or just don't make assumptions off what you see on TV. If I've never been to a country before, how would I be able to tell you about that country? So don't listen to advice from other people that has never been to a country before. And please, please, please don't follow stereotypes because it will, first of all, make you look bad, like someone that doesn't even know what he's talking about. Second of all, stereotypes are just misleading. Like, well, you can't just generalize about a whole culture based off something someone did. So that's everything I've got for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big, big, big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in my next week's video. Bye.